Hey everyone, Alexander Mathias here from saxophonemasterclass.com. Thanks so much for checking out this video. In today's lesson, I'm going to explain to you the importance of major scales and also show you how they are formed on the saxophone. So maybe you're wondering, why should I learn my major scales? I don't understand why they're so important. Well, here's the thing. All music is made up of scales. All melodies are made up of scales. So if you learn, for example, the G major scale, there's literally thousands, tens of thousands, if not millions of songs that use that exact scale, those exact notes to create the melody. So when you're listening to your favorite songs on the radio or on one of your favorite albums, the song that you're listening to is actually going to be made up of a scale. Most likely it's going to be made up of a major scale or a minor scale. Now arguably most songs are going to be made up of major scales. So I always tell my students to focus on major scales when they're learning the saxophone. Because if you learn the G major scale, you're going to find that there's actually thousands, if not millions of songs that use that scale. So that's why it's so important to start learning scales on saxophone so you can start learning your favorite songs with ease. Now I always tell my students to start with the major scale. So in this video, I'm going to show you how major scales are formed. And if you want, you can actually download all the major scales for free by going to saxophonemasterclass.com forward slash major scales. All you have to do is enter your email and then I'm gonna send you the PDF with all the letter names of the major scales written out for you so you can start learning all your major scales today. Once you have even three or four major scales under your belt, you're gonna find that it's a lot easier to start learning new songs on the saxophone. Now this lesson is actually taken from my saxophone success path, which is a step-by-step -step path that I've created that takes you from learning the saxophone from absolute scratch to then advancing to learning your favorite songs, learning how to play by ear, learning how to jam with other musicians, and developing the confidence to play for friends and family, and even to play in public as well. So I've had many students go through this saxophone success path and exceed their goals on saxophone. It's completely step by step, so you don't get overwhelmed, you don't get frustrated, you don't get confused by the difficulties of the saxophone because I show you every detail of what it is you need to learn in order to master the sax. So if this sounds like a path you'd love to follow, why not go and check it out inside my Saxophone Masterclass membership? You can learn more at saxophonemasterclass.com forward slash membership. We only open a few times a year, but if you go to the website, you'll see when we're open for enrollments next. Next. and you can join the waiting list to be the first to know when the saxophone masterclass membership is open in the meantime I really hope you enjoyed today's lesson and happy playing so let's get started first I'm going to show you what whole steps and half steps are so you can understand how major scales are formed so a half step means it's one chromatic note away from the note you're starting on so let's say we're starting on C this is the note C here so this is the middle C a half step away from C Ascending is going to be C sharp. That's the next note chromatically up the scale. So a half step up from C is C sharp, and I'm going to play both notes now. So that's a half step ascending on a note. Now, of course, a half step can also be descending like this. So let's start in that C again, and this time we're going to do a half step down. So that's a chromatic note down from C to B. That's a half step downwards. Now, of course, this applies on any note that you start on. So let's say we start on E. So we're going to start with E with the octave key, which is three fingers in the left hand, two fingers in the right hand, and then that octave key at the back. And a half step up from that is going to be F. That's the next chromatic note up. So E to F sounds like this. Now a half step down from E is going to be D sharp, which is D with this note here, this side note here. This is also known as E flat. So E to D sharp or E flat is also a half step, but it's a half step down. So that's a half step up and a half step down from E. 
Now a whole step is two half steps. So if we start on C again, we're gonna go up two half steps to make a whole step like this. So we start on C. We go up one half step to C sharp. And then another half step to D, which is three fingers in the left hand, three fingers in the right hand, and that octave key. So that's two half steps. So that means C to D is a whole step. Now, of course, a whole step applies descending as well. So if we start on C again and go down a half step to B and another half step to B flat, that's going to be a whole step. So C to B flat is a whole step as well. C to D is a whole step up. And C to B flat is a whole step down. So that's an explanation of half steps and whole steps, and that's gonna allow me to show you how a major scale is formed. So I'm gonna use C major as an example of how major scales are formed. I'm gonna start on the low C and go up to the middle C. Let me show you. So that's C major. The notes are C, D, E, F, G, A, and B. So there's seven notes in a major scale. So I'm gonna show you how a C major scale is formed with whole steps and half steps. So a major scale is formed like this. Whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, whole step, whole step, half step. So with C major, we have C to D, which is a whole step, D to E, which is a whole step, E to F, which is a half step, F to G, which is a whole step, G to A, which is a whole step, A to B, which is a whole step, and then B to C, finally, which is a half step. So this formation using the whole step, half step method is actually the same for every single major scale. So let's say we choose G major scale now. I'm gonna show you the notes on the sax. So that's G major, and that is formed in the same way. We start on G, then we go from G to A, which is a whole step, A to B, which is a whole step, B to C, which is a half step, C to D, which is a whole step, D to E, which is a whole step, E to F sharp, which is a whole step, and finally F sharp to G, which is a half step. So no matter what note you start on, you can follow this formation to create a major scale. So try yourself at home, just pick any note and try to form a scale using the whole step, half step method. Now in the PDF download you can get at saxophonemasterclass.com major scales, I do have a cheat sheet in there where I show you all the major scales in all 12 keys. But it is important to know how major scales are formed, and if you do forget the major scale, you can figure it out just by memorizing this one thing. The whole step, half step formation. Two whole steps, then a half step, then another three whole steps, then a half step. So check out that PDF download and work on all your major scales. This is going to be really important for learning new songs and being able to improvise on the saxophone. All right, everyone, I really hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Remember, this is part of my saxophone success path, which you can get inside the Saxophone Masterclass membership. Just go to saxophonemasterclass.com forward slash membership to learn more about that. And not only do you get a curated path to follow with hundreds of lessons and videos and PDFs and audio files, but you also get feedback from me personally as you're working through the saxophone success path. So you're never lost, you're always getting feedback, you're always getting constructive criticism as you're working through the curriculum. Not only that, but there's also an incredible community inside the membership which you can share your progress with, ask questions, share your journey, encourage and motivate one another as you're progressing and mastering the saxophone. So again, we only open a few times a year for new enrollments. So if you want to see if we're open right now, just go to saxophonemasterclass.com forward slash membership. And if we're not open, you can just join the waiting list and be the first to know when we're going to be open for new enrollments. All right, everyone, I really hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you did, please like this video, please subscribe to my channel, and until next time, happy playing.